so good morning my dear students yesterday we were doing chapter a house is not a home we will be continuing from the same chapter so all of you get ready with your books yesterday i told you that you will not read from screen you should all you all should have your books so that you can write down difficult word meanings you can write down accessory details of the chapter okay so be, because if you will not having a book you will not be able to understand and your increase will your interest will not be increased okay so for better understanding you all should have books with you so i'm going to share screen with you so we have read from up to this she is going to be okay so yesterday we have come to know that there was a teenager boy he was so busy so happy living happily with his mother okay he was having one pet domestic cat and he was completely busy in doing his work his pet cat was playing and mother was also in the house all of a sudden he saw that smoke was coming from a seam and he noticed that Uh, you can say within a short span of time his house was completely engulfed in fire when they mother and uh, that boy they came outside but by the time neighbors called fire brigade okay firemen came so all of a sudden, sudden mother went inside to take something so son was thinking that mother has gone inside uh, to take you can say take her belongings like that pictures or photographs or memories like of uh, her husband so he wanted to run after his uh, after his mother because he wanted to save the life of his mother by the time fireman caught him and they promised that they would be very much you can say they would be taking care of their mother they would go inside and bring her mother back okay so this consolation was given by fireman so now we are going to start our text from this she is going to be okay so ridhima you read from there she is going to be okay said the fireman ridhima unmute yourself and read the text jasleen khosla you read Jasleen Khosla, you read the text. Jasleen Khosla. Yes, ma'am. Uh, she is going to be okay, said the fireman. She just inhaled a little smoke and then he ran back to fight the fire. While my mother and I sat there, I remember watching my house burn down and thinking that there was nothing I could do about it. Five hours later, the fire was finally out. Our house was almost completely burned. But then it struck me I hadn't seen my cat. Where was my cat? Much to my horror, I realized that she was now where to be found. Then all at once it hit me. The new, the new school, the fire, my cat. I broke down in tears and cried and cried. I was suffering loss big time. Okay. The fireman. Wait, wait. Now here, what is given? fireman was giving him consolation that your mother is going to be okay because she was in a she was fainted why she was fainted because she has inhaled inhaled means is taken inside because she has taken some of the little smoke it means she was not able to breathe properly that's why she got fainted okay and he ran back to fight the fire okay and uh, fireman went inside to fight with that fire okay and by the time his mother and he they both were sitting dazed okay dazed means they were unable to think so bachche write down the meaning of dazed by the time fireman went inside to you can say extinguish that fire so that uh, 
तो बच्चे राइट डाउन दिस मीनिंग डेज मीन्स अन एबल टू थिंक सो दे बोथ पर सिटिंग एंड दे वर नॉट एबल टू थिंक दैट एक्चुअली वट वॉज गोइंग विद दम ओके एंड ही रिमेंबर दैट दिस वॉज अ मेमरी जस्ट ही वॉज रिकॉलिंग दैट बॉय सो ही वॉज रिमेंबरिंग दैट ही हैज सीन हिज हाउस बर्निंग डाउन ओके एंड ही वॉज थिंकिंग नाउ ही इज नॉट एबल टू डू एनीथिंग ही वॉज नॉट एबल टू डू एनीथिंग फॉर हिज हाउस सो नियर अबाउट फाइव आवर्स वर्स टेकन एंड आफ्टर फाइव आवर्स द फायर वॉज फाइनली आउट इट मीन्स फायर वॉज कंप्लीटली ओवर and the house was completely burned down after 5 hours they realized that the fire is over but what was the condition of the house the house was completely burned and after 5 hours when he was not able to think properly he was thinking that is how he was looking at his house it was burned completely so all of a sudden one thought st- uh, struck him what was that he hadn't seen his cat surprising see he loved his cat so much he has nurtured him he has taken care of him when it was a small kitten it was so attached to him so after 5 hours when he realized yes where was his cat so much to his horror he realized that he was not nowhere to be found he looked here and there cat was nowhere to find then it really hit me then he realized yes new school it means such kind of thoughts were occurring in his mind when he was sitting in a new school he was missing he, you can say he was thinking about his past he was thinking about that fire episode he was thinking that how his fire how his house got burned he was thinking about his cat okay so when he was missing that past so he really broke in tears broke down in tears means he started uh, crying and he cried and cried and he was suffering a great loss because he had no father okay now his house was completely burned he was very much close he was very much attached to his pet cat and now he was not able to find him anywhere so he was thinking that cat also got burned in that fire so it was really a big loss for him and he was missing all his past okay so now read from there the fireman would not let uh, cover noor you read cover noor read fireman would not let us go back it means they are not physically present in class good morning ma'am yes beta read the fireman wouldn't let us go back into the house that night it was still too dangerous dead or alive i couldn't imagine living without knowing about my cat regarding less i had to go we piled into the car with just the clothes on our backs and a few of the firemen's blankets and made our way to my grandparents house to spend the night okay now in this paragraph it is given because the house was completely burnt after it took me about 5 hours to put out the fire okay so at that time firemen were still there so when night fell down it was really very dangerous because it was hot okay the house was still hot okay inside nobody was allowed to go because there could be smoke okay it could be very much dangerous okay so he the fireman was not letting him to go inside the house because it was very much dangerous because any of the part could fall down or it would be hot it would be very risky to go inside okay he just wanted to see that his cat is dead or alive okay so because he was not able to i couldn't imagine living without knowing about my cat because they have to leave that place they had to leave that place so he was just couldn't imagine that he had to leave that house without knowing this thing that the cat was dead or cat was alive but what was the option for him only single option he had to go okay so they went they sat in the car 
okay whatever the clothes they were having they kept it on our backs on their backs okay they took some of the fireman's blanket okay and where did they go they went to grandparents house to spend their night okay covered no read further also read it covered no read further कवर दूर आगे पढ़ो बेटा अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ बस कवर दूर अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड रीड बेटा यस मैम द नेक्स्ट डे मंडे आई वेंट टू स्कूल when the fire broke out i was still wearing the dress i had worn to church that morning but i had no shoes i had kicked them off when i was doing my homework they became yet another casual of the fire so i had to borrow some tiny shoes from my aunt when i couldn't i just stay home from school my mother wouldn't hear of it but i was totally embarrassed by everything the clothes i was wearing looked weird i had no books or homework and my backpack was gone i had my life in the backpack the more i tried to fit in the worse it got was i designed to be an outcast and a greek all the life that's why it felt like i didn't want to grow up change or have a handle life if it was going to be this way i just wanted to curl up and die okay now bachcha i'm going to write down some of the difficult words here you just jot down the meanings of these difficult words whatever we have come across in this paragraph afterwards i am going to explain it okay so all of you jot down and i can ask any of the child to show me their books so get ready for that okay embarrassed embarrassed what is the meaning of embarrassed embarrassed means you can say self conscious okay according to this paragraph embarrassed means self conscious conscious and weird weird means you can say strange okay and geek what is the meaning of geek geek means awkward and unpopular awkward awkward or you can say unpopular okay so here basically i have written the difficult word meanings okay so next day it was monday he went to school okay so when fire broke in their house he was wearing the same dress in the same dress he had to go to school okay see at that time when he went to school he, when he went to church that morning he was not having shoes okay why so because when fire engulfed in their house fire broke out in their house and they he was doing his homework and at that time he kicked his shoes away okay so they became yet another casualty of the fire and after that what happened fire broke out in their house and now he had to borrow his tennis shoes he had to borrow tennis shoes from his aunt okay so 
he was thinking that why couldn't he just stay home from school that was the necessity to go to school he could drop from the school okay but his mother she was very much worried for her son she did not want that her son should uh, you can say leave school so that's why he had to go to school in such kind of drastic situation also when he was not having school uniform when he was not having books when he was not having bag etc all thing got burned but in that situation also he had to move to school okay and the clothes he was wearing those clothes were looking so weird so you can say strange and he was feeling totally embarrassed he was not feeling self conscious at all okay so the more i tried to fit it it was looking worse and worse so he was thinking that it is his destiny he is destined destined means it has his become um, destiny that for whole of his life he would be a geek geek means he would be looking awkward he would be becoming unpopular so he was feeling like that okay he was he did not want to grow up he was thinking that i don't want to grow up okay and he don't did not want to change or have he did not want to handle his life because if that life was going to be uh, in this way he did not want to uh, you can say survive he really wanted to die and he really want to curl up it means he really want to go away from his life he was not any ex expectation from the life because now the life was just like a hell for him clear now same text uh, sorry next paragraph sumati you read sumati you read next text unmute yourself yes sumati you read beta unmute yourself sumati unmute yourself beta उंडीट here the word is given zombie okay so write down the meaning of zombie zombie means unaware person unaware okay who moves slowly who moves slowly okay so zombie is basically a person who is unaware and who is walking so slowly okay and after that we have another word write down this meaning also there is a word serial 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 means very much unusual unusual or very you can say strange okay after that next word we have is ripped ripped you can say torn or you can say destroyed destroyed so when he was walking to so he was walking just like you can say he was walking just like a zombie zombie you can say unaware okay and everything was looking surreal it means everything was looking so strange so unusual okay because he was not sure what was going to he was not sure what was going to be happen in his life okay but all the security only he was having a security from which place from his old school from his old from his friends from his house and his cat which has been completely torn or you can say which has been completely destroyed in that fire okay so he was having only security from all these 
things. So he was only thinking about his cat, his old school, his old friends like this. Okay. Now continue reading. When I walked through what used to be my house after school that day, I was shocked to see how much damage there was. Whatever I hadn't burned was destroyed by the water and chemicals they had put to on put out the fire. The only ma uh, material thing not destroyed was the, were the photo albums, documents, and some other personal items that my mother had managed to heroically uh, heroically rescue. But my cat was gone, and my heart ached for her. Okay, so. Finally, when he went, uh, walked through, okay, the, uh, what used to be my house, see how pathetic this line is written, what used to be my house, it means now there was no house because that house was completely burned. So when he went through that place after his school, so he was completely shocked to see the damage that fire has brought in his house. Okay, because whatever had burned, it was completely destroyed because everything was burned and when water was put on that fire, so it was completely destroyed by water and chemicals which were used to put out the fire. And there were only that material which was not uh, destroyed. These were photo albums, documents and some other personal items that his mother had managed when the fire wo there was a fire his mother went inside to take all the things so very heroically okay she brought all the she saved she rescued that that material but he was having that guilt that his cat was gone and his heart was just aching aching means paining okay so but you write down the meaning of ached ached means Paint. So whenever he thinks about his cat, so his heart starts paining. It means he feels a lot of sadness and you can say compassion for his cat. Okay, read further Dhiren. Dhiren, read further. Dhiren, bache, read further. Yes, Dhiren, read. Okay, Sumati, now you can try to read. I have told you to unmute yourself. Yes, Sumati. Now you can try it up. Okay, Nitya, you read. Nitya. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma there was no time to grieve. Yes. Um, I am supposed to read, right? Feels there was no time to grieve. There was no time to grieve. My mother rushed the house. We would have to find a place to live and I would have to go buy some clothes for school. We had to borrow money from my grandparents because there were no credit cards, cash or even any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank. Everything had gone up in smoke. That week, the rubble that used to be our house was being cleared off the lot. Even though we had rented an apartment nearby, I would go over to watch them clear away debris, hoping that, that my cat was somewhere to be found. She was gone. I kept thinking about her as that vern, uh, vulnerable little kitten. In the early morning, when I would disturb her and get out of bed, she would... She would tag along after me, climb up my robe and crawl into my pocket to fall asleep. I was missing her terribly. Okay. But you write down the meanings of these difficult words. 
then you'll be able to understand the text okay now when they went inside to see what was the condition of that house because everything was completely destroyed in that house so his mother rushed inside rushed me out of the, sorry his mother rushed him out of the house okay and now they were finding a place to live because they have to go to because that's why he had to go to school so that's why there was a need to purchase some of the clothes so what they had to do now they had to borrow some of the money from their grandparents because at that time there were no credit cards there were no cash even their identification uh, because of not any kind of identification they were not able to withdraw money from the bank so everything basically had gone in that file okay so what happened that day the rubble that used to be our house was being cleared off the lot so rubble you can say waste or you can say uh, fragments of stone brick concrete whatever the you can say just uh, you can say change into ashes so that rubble rubble waste was about to be uh, clear off okay so even though after that they had taken one apartment very much nearby they were living on rent there okay so he used to go there to clear away the debris debris again is a waste okay so when uh, persons were collecting that rubble so still he was having a hope that he would be able to find out uh, his cat in that debris see how pathetic this is somebody can cry over this thought that he was searching his cat in the debris okay so he was still having hope that his cat would be found okay in during uh, during that clearing okay but she was gone okay so he always think he was always thinking about his her as because this cat was you you can say very much uh, you can say valuable thing for him okay because what was a routine he used to uh, that cat used sorry he used to disturb her that cat he used to get out of bed okay and wherever the boy was going that cat used to tag along with her with him it means he she used to follow him wherever okay he was going okay climb up my robe robe is you can say long dress so whatever the boy was wearing you can say he was wearing a robe in morning robe you can say long dress so that cat used to climb on his long dress so such kind of activity cat used to do in morning okay so she used to crawl into his pocket to fall asleep so that's why because of these kind of mischievousness he was missing her terribly terribly means very much badly he was missing that cat okay so up to that chapter is clear okay we will continue this reading tomorrow this much chapter is left so we will be able to complete and we will discuss question answers also so bachche whatever the text we have read today you also go through this you read word meanings try to learn these word meaning because you can learn these words in your answers when you will be writing the answers it's good if you follow these uh, vocabulary words and you go through these details again and again because you have to write down all these details in your question answer and tomorrow i want that your response should be very good you all should be very much eager to tell me the answer okay so bachche i'm going to over your class because time is over okay so take care of yourself and 
डू योर वर्क जेल ओके बेटा